Are you hurt? Mm. Broken foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair! We have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. Another step, and your mentor dies. You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. Now you call on your lapdog to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? Another good man dies, and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Al Mualim, but patience was not one of them. 
Speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more! You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <laughs> uh, perhaps I am not wise enough to understand. But I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces, as was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time. And it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy. And ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never! Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the Apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. What is happening? How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe this. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve? What others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Moalim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in Al Moalim's study. When I am finished here, I will show you all I know. Altair! No! 
I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it. No man is. It is beautiful, is it not? Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. 
I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Gary know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Amos, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets, it has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Father, I got your message. What has happened? Darim, turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! This way. Out of here. Where is Mother? She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. 
Ahead of us! What? How? Later. First, we fight. Brothers, we need not fight. Forget reason, Narim. They've been poisoned by lies. My brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. Yeah. One day you will pay. Killed my brother. I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head for all the dishonor you brought upon my family. You cannot run forever, not from us, and not from your lies. Maria. Say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor. And unlike Al Mualim or Al Tair, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al Tair was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. Is it... is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayin to keep us from the castle. 
fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. Has anyone raised his blade against an innocent? Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die, for they have compromised the Order. But those who still live by the Creed must be spared. You can trust in us. You've heard the stories going around the village. About the boss and his nightmares? No, no. Altair. What about? People say an old assassin saved the life of a merchant down in the valley. They say he fought with a hidden blade. Ah, rumors. I don't believe it. Leave this blade! Altair is here. In the village? Send mm -hmm. word to the castle, quickly. Assassins! To me! Follow me to the castle, and spill no blood if you can help it. Decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. We could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. For you fools, he has bewitched you. Our mentor has returned. My respect, mentor. For Abbas. I fight for you, for the order. Welcome, Welcome back, mentor. Yes, the place is so much sick of that. Antair. Try out of the honor. Antair. Die! Always in honor. Together for victory, Mentor. Welcome back. Tell your men to stand down. No! I am defending Masha. Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. 
I learned many things from the Apple. Of life and death. Of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then... I will see him, and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time, we will find you. And then, there will be no doubts. Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales. But one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mentor. Ready to catapult and watch for my signal. Stay close. All right, this way. This way. Enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message? For whom? I wish I knew.
you have seen to my books? Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. Increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Strange visions and messages of ones who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family? What does the apple say? Not until the time is right. 